Don't forget the past. Learn from it. There's a serenity about this spot. It's a place for... Lots of notices on the board for things that made sense in the days when the surf was a lot cleaner. Interesting to see what they cared about here. Wonder if any of it matters now. In the old days, this was a port for boats that went under the surf. They helped clog the surf into goo. Toxanol didn't do it on purpose, I don't think. Their machines made a mess, though, and they never cleaned up after themselves. You should be able to find a track here. Just need to keep your eyes open. This is turning out to be quite an expedition. Let's see. Django, Azitawa, Rapi Tuntua, Tituata. Galpo ain't the easiest tongue, but I think he says he's happy to see a friendly face. Not too many of those around these days. Says it's good to see you again. He's Goop. You might remember him from the old days when he tried to teach you how to swim. Goop says you were always so righteous as a child, and he can still feel it, even at a distance. Goop says memories fade surprisingly fast. We are all pieces of what we remember. It's only together we can remember the story as it was. He knows he's easy to remember. There's no one out there as cuckoo as him. He's one of a kind. Goop says our memory keeps things for us and protects them until we are ready to face them again. He understands you've returned to face Lupa Lupin. That's the destiny you've been carrying within yourself all these years. He says that the catastrophe back then didn't vanquish the good in you. It's still there, as bright as when you were a child. Now the time has come for you to remember and act. Your life is your life, not the story you're told about it. He understands why you seek revenge, but he doesn't think you realize how that'll make you feel once you claimed it. Yes, that's the way. No arguing with that. That is how you shine light at the dark. Seriously, don't doubt the dark. Oh. I'm so proud of you for doing the right thing. Can't believe you let that loser sway you. 
place I dare, my lord. Says life on the goo is wide open. You have so many choices of where to go. Some harder than others, of course. Which kind do you like? My lord, it me. Oh, place I dare, my lord. Best to stick close to the shore, then, where the goo isn't so deep. That's like being close to your friends who can help when things go wrong. Oh, I love it, me. Figures the world is a goner. Even the goo will go gone gone. No, me walk, me. Wishes you hadn't done so much to make the goo even gooier. She's a carrier. Wonders why you're flapping around with the Jagni. They spend too much time nesting to do anything fun. He's a carrier. Thinks you're only proving his point. When I can walk up. But hey, back to the goo. But when we can oh, 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 God. When I can walk up. Knows yesterday is already gone. It's what you do today and tomorrow that'll move you forward. You need to set the past aside, at least for now. He can't leave the Subnautica station, as the pollution has worn down the insulation of his suit. So you must salvage enough scrap to fix up his goo glide, starting with the old wreck box outside. You should return when you've retrieved the scrap. There's no time to waste if you want to make the goo glide strong enough to fight the Porky Puff. Out of date told him the undersurf was the epicenter of the contamination. This was where it struck hardest and inflicted the biggest change to the ecosystem. When a story comes to you, pay attention. Just a few moves left, make them count.
The world is awake. Delicious.
Daytime is the best time to get things done. Toxanol's offshore drilling caused oily matter to spread with the rain and contaminate both the groundwater and open surf. The long-lasting effect this had on the evolution of wildlife was, as we know now, the only reason we came to exist. Looks like the switches need to be turned to match so enough charge can flow through the conductors. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Good. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the framework. He's got the goo glide functional. You'll have a pull hook and a salvage net, but no. There's debris floating around on the surf that might be blocking your path or needs to be towed. That means you'll need a device so you can get it out of your way. Goop says Gizmos devised a cannon for the Goo Glide, but instead of bullets, it flips quacks, squeaky distractions for the triple attentive Porky Puff, which will give you time to get yourself in position. The best way to find quacks is to talk to Gulp. He has the bearings of the Surfipelago and knows where the quacks like to float. This means you'll have the privilege of visiting Gulp in the Sinky Dink. He'll be able to give you directions to where you'll find quacks. He only knows what's visible to the naked eye. Gulp is not much of a babbler and mostly keeps to himself and his drink. This beats a slow boat any day. Welcome to the Surfipelago, where the horizon rests on the surfy goo. You're poking around Pokbur, a prime village. This here is the Sinky Dink. Home of Gulp, at the very least. Get off and slow down a bit. Yeah. Let's see.
He's pretty sure he's heard of you before, although the details are maybe a little hazy. He wonders if you have... Guesses he does, but it's a long life in a wild world. Sometimes... Says you look like you've got a powerful thirst to do something in this world. Good, bad, not really sure, but it seems like you've been drinking in your destiny and liking the flavor. Wants to know if he could point you towards something fun to drink, so that you could share with the tipsy tipster. You sure look like you could use a drink. Either way, he hopes you find a way to wet your whistle before the world comes to an awful dry end and leaves us all thirsting for more. Says life's like a mystery drink. Sometimes it's amazing, and sometimes it's awful, but I... Sure, but that's nowhere near as quick and easy. Who wants to stop to chew? Says you should toast the end of the world, but you'd better hurry. It's coming soon. Respects how you take care of yourself first instead of trying to swallow too much. Thinks it's funny you wound up with the Jagni. They drink so little, like birds. Guess is someone has to be, but he can't swallow the sight of it. But who cares about them? Says you'd be as bummed out as him if you came for the hot stuff. The glug mocker, Nimhim Bibble, and his favorite, Radium Syrup. That one's even more intoxicating now, aged in truck tankers and all. Without a drink, and radium syrup especially, he can't move, much less think, as the power of his mind is directly proportioned to the quantity of syrup he swigs. That's why he's called Gulp. The drink helps him forget the state the world is in, but it only lasts until tomorrow. The world is still doomed, even if the sun goes up. It makes most dumber, but that's his special burden to bear. He wants you to know he has other interests, too. He's the Surf Epelago's self-proclaimed ornithologist, for example. There are other ways than a cold drink to relieve stress, even in these dark times, and, fortunately for you, he can help. Watching Pippi's flap is calming, but better yet are the ones you can look at and touch, like quacks. Squeezing them is a great way to relax. Says he's not sure you can. Physically, that is. There's no squeeze in the world able to counteract his expansiveness. Let's see. You have things to do. That's a resource totem, a monument left behind by those that picked scrap, trying to keep the area clean. Don't know what that e-waste was.
The Quack Hollow. It's just lonely. Take fast over fancy any day. Lockety locked. Locked up tight. There's not much left of what we used to call our world. Thank you. 
The best stories are about heroes. This is such a story. Fire hazard like that can make you real sick. You need to line up the switches so they match. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Good. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the framework. We're all heroes of our own stories. Or so we hope. Want to be behind that? There's no reason to think this might explode. That's enough quacks to sustain the Goo Glide Flipper with infinite ammunition. 
Goop says he was there when the Porky Puff took out of date's leg, so this world eater has made it personal. After that, out of date started using his head instead of his legs and came up with the plan on how to best make a stand against the world eaters and it wasn't by foot. That's how he got tasked with rebuilding the Googlide. He seems happy to talk. Didn't have much else to say, so no problem. It's time to do what's right, for certain values of right. See that broken boat over there? Looks like it still floats. Feel that what breeze blast by. It's the Porky Puff nibbling bark. It took quite a liking to the crunchy stuff after munching down out of date's leg.
the quacks. This opportunity slide. He thanks you for dealing with the first World Eater. It's a start. You should go see Out of Date and find out what you can about the machine he's named the Ark. Even if Out of Date doubts your intentions, he depends on your help, and the Sifu is confident he'll let you know what you need. He trusts you know where to find out of date by now. He's always been at the foot of the tree, and that hasn't changed.
Goop knows he's repeating himself, but can't help talking to you. Itaku says you've made a lot of enemies. Might be better to hide during the day. But hope isn't lost yet. Yango seems surprised you have to go. Goop knows he's repeating himself, but can't help talking to you. Understands you have things to do. <laughs>